Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. This is a question that was asked by one of our viewers. Is there a way to basically clean up the LiveWire temp folder of images or files or whatever the case may be? So in this video, we're just going to address the old images. You can obviously apply that to any other files that you might have. All right, so let's quickly go to the, that folder around there. Under storage, app, LiveWire temp. You'll see this is the folder we are talking about. Now the thing is, it stores kind of temporary files right here before it moves it into the relevant folder when you store it. So we created a LiveWire post create component with a when we use the file uploads. Then we stored the post, basically post create the image. We store the image with the path inside an image folder inside the public directory. Okay, so it's, let's quickly go there. Let me just show you where that is on the storage. App inside the public folder, we create an image folder. That's what that is right there. And then we store the title and then we dispatch an event to the browser. All right. Now, the thing is, let me just start off with the options number one. You can create a cron job to actually do this in the background. So if you open up your terminal, you can, in order to create one, you would go to PHP Artisan Make Command. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm not going to be dealing with that one in this episode. So if you want to go and read more, just go and read the documentation and you can create that. So the two that I'm going to be talking about is the modify or the create one right there. But before I do the modify, the cleanup uploads file method right there, I want to kind of explain how LiveWire actually handles the file upload. So let's quickly go to our component and our create component. You, in order to do the uploads, we need to use the use for with file upload. So let's quickly go into that trade right there. So in the trade, you will see start upload. Then we have the finished upload. So basically when it finished uploading the file. All right, so in this case, what it will do. So once it's finished, it calls a method called clean up old uploads. All right, so what that does is, let's quickly go to that method. All right, now that method, if it's an S3, if it's using an S3 disk, it's basically returns, it's not gonna do anything. There's a different method that you have to do in order to deal with S3s. So this is just only working for local. So that's the one that we're gonna be dealing with. All right, so what it does is, it will loop over all the files that's in there. Okay, but then it will check them for a timestamp. So in this case, it's yesterday's timestamp. Then it will just check the now. So basically the time that you have now, then it will check for a day from now. Then it will just check that and it will pull out this timestamp. So if yesterday's timestamp is basically uh, in this case, greater than when the storage file was last modified, then it will actually call that file and it will delete it. This is an automatic behavior of LiveWire with file uploads. Now this method, as you can see, it only, only will get called when we're gonna create another post, okay? So that's what it will do. So let's say you don't didn't create any post, let's say for a week, those files will remain there until you create a post. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. It will automatically clean it uh, when you create another post and upload an image, then it will delete that. Now, let's say you want to modify that behavior. Let's say you want to change it to be, let's say, once every hour. Okay, so what we can do is we can copy that method, that protected method. Let's just copy it. So this one right here, so copy that and Basically, bring it inside your component and then you can modify it. So let's quickly go there. All right, now this method will override the default behavior. All right, so now this can be yesterday timestamp, okay? So like this. But now what we can do is we can change it and give it a different name. But for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to do that. I can just say now and I can just change this to be an hour like this, or you can say hour, you basically be one hour. And if you say hours here, you can specify the amount of hours, let's say two hours. So every two hours post that's been last modified, it will delete them. So that's the one way and the easiest way to do that. But just remember this method only gets called once you create another post. So that, that files inside your storage app, this will not get deleted 
until you create another post because that method is not going to be called. So that's why if you want to do that automatically, you will create a cron job for that, okay? But let's say there's another way to do it. Now let's say you want to have more freedom in your dashboard, you want to create a button where you can actually just click the button to delete it. There's a way we can do that. We can call this method or we can create our own. So let's quickly do that. So we can create a public function and we're gonna call this one, let's say clean up Let's say clean up old temp images, just as an example. Now the thing is, let's just get this like old files. I'm just gonna get all the old files and then we're just gonna call on the storage. All right, and then we're just gonna get the files, but which files and which directory. As you can see the directory, right? So the directory that we want to look in is in the live wire temp, like this. All right, and what I want to do, let me just die and dump the old files so that we can actually see if we can view that files. All right, so let's quickly create a button that will call this method. So let's quickly go and create post right here. So I don't want to be in our form. I just want to go outside our form and just create a diff again with a space Y. I'm just using this as an example, guys. So if you guys want to organize it a little bit better, you guys can do that. All right, so... Just copy whatever I'm doing. Right, so let's quickly say space y of 10. Okay, inside here, I'm just going to create a button and we'll call it method. So xj button. And I'm just going to say clean up. Okay. So now the thing is, what we're going to do is we're going to do a wire click. All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to call that method. Basically, if we click the button, wire clean up that old images. All right. So let's see if this works. Right, so this basically the button I have. So this is for the create post. So you can you can kind of create your own component or do whatever you guys want to do. But this is I'm just you you're doing the, the simplest, most fastest way possible. All right. So let's say if I clean this button, I need to get that done done. So let me click it. As you can see, it brings an array of all that live wire temp files right there. So as you can see, let me just zoom in a bit more. So as you can see, the live wire temp with all that images in there. Okay, so let me just close this off. So now what I want to do, I want to loop over those images and individually delete them. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to create a for each loop. So let's do it for each. All right, so for each of the old files as file. Okay, so then we can just do that. And then what I want to do now is I just want to say storage. Uh, storage. And then we just want to say delete. And then we just want to say that file. Okay, so the files, because we remember, here we get all the old files. And what we want to do, that old files, we want to loop over them. And we just want to say delete. So this is just a manual way to do it. Okay, so if we just press that button. Okay, so you can obviously create this method, call it in a command, all that kind of stuff. All right, so this, we can just set a browser event and just say files deleted. To kind of keep your things simple so let's see if this works so if i press this button it needs to get all the files it needs to loop over them and individually delete them but just make sure you bring in your storage facade right here so let's go there as you can see right there and bring it in so if i click this and then i dispatch this event awesome stuff okay so let's the clean up so let's press this button so as you can see it's busy working Right, didn't get the message, but if we go to the storage app, LifeWire, you can see it deleted all the old files right there. Awesome stuff. Okay, let's try it again. Hopefully, we get a message. As you can see, files deleted right there. So, awesome stuff. So, that's an end of this episode, guys. If you have any more questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. But this is not the ideal, so I just want to mention that. So if you guys want to do this manually, that's the way to do it. But every time when you do an upload, that's another way to do it. And the best way is obviously to have a cron job running in the background, but I know it's not possible for some websites because some are hosted on cPanel where people don't have access to supervisor to actually check if the cron jobs run in the background. All right, so anyway, guys, thank you. Watch the video. And if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any other things that you want to add, please add them in the comment section. And see you guys in the next one. Adios.